So yeah, basically. Um, that's the bit, that's, that's the gist of it. You, know, you just buy parts, and you go from there, and it's just a good time. Look at that. Look at that Victor Valdez poster. Damn son, sexy. And nothing that I can upgrade here. Fuck, wow. Well. Alright, so I just gotta cut, purchase a couple of things. So I'll check out, and we're good. And I really like, I love the unique, uh, paint schemes that the Blacklist have. And what I wish they did is that they put, like, once you beat a Blacklist rival, you can go into the paint shop section of the game, and you can, uh, and you're, and you're given the ability to, uh, um, to, like, apply the unique scheme to, like, any car in the game. That would have been, that would have been pretty cool. I would have liked that, so let me just hit this. Speed trap quick. Hot damn, son. Alrighty then. Perfect. So as you can see, nitrous is very useful, and it is a nice thing to have, so. Okay, so we gotta do some milestones here. Yeah, lots of, lots of milestones, actually. 1,000 bounty, evade the police, and three infractions. Yes, I can definitely do all of that in one, so that's cool. Ah, yes! Toll booth races! These are the best. Oh my god, these are the best. Well, I'll let the cutscene explain it while I grab a drink. Hot damn, just in time. So I hope you understand why I love the toll booth races so much now. Because it's just you against the clock. And a lot of the times the police will come after you, so that's fun. And like, there's the challenge series on the main menu. I was thinking about doing that, but I don't think I will. I've only ever completed all but one, all but the last one. And I was, like, on a roll when I got that, too. And then I stopped playing the game, so I never could. And there are some hard-ass challenges. It, it, it's... It's tough. It's tough. It's tough, man. It's tough. But anyway, um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. And this is what you do throughout the toll booth races. So I guess it gives me plenty of an plenty opportunity to just have a nice little casual conversation with you. Um... So like I said, played this at a friend's house. Bought it. Loved it. Same story with, uh... L.A. Rush. This game was a gift. Who the hell knows when. Or maybe it was a requested gift. Uh, or maybe I spent birthday money on it. Who the hell knows. But, um... L.A. Rush was an Easter gift. That was pretty cool. The Easter Bunny had my fucking number that year. But anyway. Yeah. Um... How's the face cam? You like the face cam in this series? I'm not too keen on it yet, let's say. Like, I'm not entirely 100% sure if I want to put up with it. Because usually, usually what I will do when I do these series, I'll usually kick back like this, and I'll put my feet up on the bed. I have the camera on the bed right now, and you know, I'd love to do like this, but you can't see my face if I'm like this, so I have to sit up and do it. And you know what, that's, that's kind of a good thing, honestly, because it gives me more, like, like, to be able to see, like, focus more so than just being like, ugh. Just practically like, half shadow. So. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be awesome if you could, okay. I guess someone else thought, I was gonna say, like, wouldn't it be awesome if in this game you could be, like, an undercover cop and go after, like, the Blacklist that way? Well, literally two games later in Need for Speed Undercover, 
they did exactly that, and it's, that game is below average, but, like, it all went downhill after Carbon. Like, I don't know what people's problem is with Carbon. I like Carbon. Carbon was, a uh, Carbon was good. I especially like the design, like, the way that you can design the cars, like, the way that you can shift the body pieces. That's so cool. It's Mia. So there's all the speed traps. Maybe we can uh, enact a police chase here. So, um, all right, hang on a second. Right. Look at this controller right now. All right. Look at the right this this stick, this stick, exactly where it is. Okay, you see where it is? All right, now watch this. It's not going to do it now that I'm trying to make him do it. It's not doing it. Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it wouldn't do it. Okay, maybe it'll... Maybe it'll happen organically eventually. Piece of shit. I'm trying to show you this shit. Because, like, it'll always stick. The accelerator will always stick, and that fucks me over in cop chases. So if I ever lose a cop chase, that's the reason. I'll try and show you it again if it happens, so, uh, let's do a short race. That's not short. Let's do... <laughs> let's do a circuit just to spice things up. I usually do the same set of races every single time throughout this game. As it goes along, I always do the same goddamn races. Like, I never do this race. Like, I always do the toll booth and then the two sprints. But, uh, but I'm shaking things up for y'all this time, so. Hope you appreciate it. I think it's playing Blinded and Chains right now. This is like, like, I got to listen to so much great music before I even realized it. Like, Chapter 4 in NASCAR Thunder 2004, Blinded in Chains in this game. It's like, wow, such high quality music in all these games, man, in all these games. That's cool. Oh, ho, whoa. I look away for one second and there's a goddamn car going on the side of the road that I'm driving on. Man, that's some crazy shit right there. That's some crazy shit right there. I recently completed this game's career mode. Well, recently is a bit of a stretch. I'd say it was about two years ago. But, um, I completed this game's career mode to 100%. That's winning every race and completing every milestone. I always completed every milestone regardless, but eh. Yeah, so. But I never do all the races, because that's just unnecessarily tedious, but. Um. Yeah, so I have done, at least once in my life, every single race in this game. So there shouldn't be anything that catches me off guard, necessarily. So, that should be good in that case, but you never know. You never know, some crazy shit's gonna end up happening, I swear. Myron. <laughs> That's the name of my computer science teacher last year. Actually, not last year, like literally last week. Our last day of class was six days ago. And since then, I've completely gone away from that school. Well, that is just fine. I actually am curious. I don't know what grade I got in some of my classes. Like, I should have an A in uh, video production, and I should have an A in composition. But if I don't have an A in composition, I won't be surprised. Because that teacher is fucking one of those teachers. I should have a B in computer science. 
because I was the exact opposite of a tryhard in that class. And I don't know what I got in mythology, which is sad. Because it's fucking mythology. <laughs> Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that was close. Boost our way to the end, bitches. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, good shit. 